How to Get Rid of Bed Bugs on Your Dog, Detailed Guide. Are you dealing with an itchy, scratchy, and downright creepy crawly situation with your furry friend? That's right, we're talking about bed bugs on your dog. These pesky insects can make both your and your pup's lives miserable, but fear not. In this video, we'll show you how to get rid of bed bugs on your dog. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those bed bugs. Get rid of it! Identify bed bugs on your dog. The first thing to look for are signs of bites on your dog. Bed bug bites usually appear as small, red, itchy bumps or welts. This can cause your dog to start scratching or act uncomfortably. If you notice this behavior, it could be a sign that they have bed bug bites. The second thing to look for is the bugs themselves. Bed bugs are very small. They are usually only about the size of an apple seed or smaller. But thankfully, they can be seen with the naked eye. They are reddish brown in color and have flat, oval shaped bodies. Check your dog's fur and skin for any signs of these tiny bugs. You may also find small, white eggs or eggshells on your dog's fur. These eggs or eggshells might also be found in their bedding. Finally, look for tiny black fecal spots, which are also signs of bed bugs. These spots are usually found in areas where the bed bugs are hiding. These areas include your dog's bedding or near where they sleep. The fecal spots are actually dried bed bug excrement. They can be easily spotted with a magnifying glass. To further help you, use a flea comb to comb through your dog's fur. Doing this can help remove any bed bugs or eggs that may be hiding in your dog's fur. If you do find bed bugs on your dog, act quickly to get rid of them. Isolate infected pet. When you discover that your dog has bed bugs, quarantine them in a separate area of your home. This will help prevent the bed bugs from spreading to other areas of your home and unto other pets. The area where you quarantine your dog should be a room that is easy to clean. It should have minimal furniture or other items that the bed bugs could hide in. You can use a spare bedroom, a bathroom, or even a laundry room. Just make sure that the room is well ventilated. Once you've chosen a room to quarantine your dog in, it's time to prepare it. That means you'll have to clean it thoroughly. You'll need to vacuum the floors and wash any bedding or towels. In addition, wipe down any surfaces with a disinfectant cleaner. You may also want to use a bed bug spray or powder in the room. This will help eliminate any bed bugs that may be hiding there. When you move your dog into the quarantine area, give them plenty of food and water. You can also give them some toys or other items to keep them occupied. Don't forget to provide them with a comfortable place to sleep. This might be a clean dog bed or a blanket. While your dog is in quarantine, keep them away from other pets in your home. This means no playtime or snuggles with other animals. Do this until the bed bug infestation is completely treated. Treat your dog. After isolating your dog, the next step is to treat it. To get the best result, you need to bathe and comb your dog properly. To get started, bathe your dog using a pet safe shampoo. There are many different types of pet shampoos on the market. Some of them are designed to kill fleas, ticks, and other pests, including bed bugs. Look for a shampoo that is specifically labeled as safe for use on dogs. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. When you bathe your dog, wet its fur thoroughly. Next, work the shampoo into a lather. Pay special attention to areas where the bed bugs may be hiding. Such areas include around the ears, under the legs, and in the armpits. Rinse your dog thoroughly with clean water. Make sure to remove all traces of the shampoo. After bathing your dog, comb your dog's fur with a flea comb. Doing this will remove any remaining bed bugs or eggs. A flea comb is a special comb with very fine teeth. They are designed to catch and remove small pests like bed bugs. Work the comb through your dog's fur. 
Pay special attention to areas where the bed bugs are most likely to be hiding. After each pass with the comb, wipe it off with a damp cloth. This will remove any bugs or eggs from the comb and also prevent you from reintroducing them to your dog. Repeat the bathing and combing process until you can't find any bed bugs on your dog. This may take several treatments, so be patient and persistent. Wash pet bedding and toys. The next step is to eliminate the pests from your dog's bedding and toys. These items can harbor bed bugs and their eggs. It's essential to wash them in hot water. This will kill any pests that may be present. Begin by gathering all of your dog's bedding and toys. Use a PetSafe laundry detergent to wash these items with the hottest setting possible that won't damage the fabric. Hot water is important because it will help kill any bed bugs that may be present. The PetSafe laundry detergent will ensure that the items are safe for your dog to use after. After washing the bedding and toys, dry them on high heat. This will kill any remaining bed bugs or eggs that survived the wash. Be sure to follow the care instructions on the bedding and toys. Doing this will ensure that they can be dried safely at a high temperature. Once the bedding and toys are taken out, vacuum the area where they were located. This will remove any remaining bed bugs or eggs hiding in the surrounding area. Be sure to vacuum thoroughly. Pay special attention to areas where your dog spends a lot of time. This includes their bed or favorite play area. Vacuum your home. Vacuuming your home is an important part of this process. You'll need a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter for this task. A HEPA filter can capture small particles, such as bed bugs and their eggs. This will prevent them from escaping back into your home. If your vacuum doesn't have a HEPA filter, consider getting one. It is an important tool in your fight against bed bugs. Vacuum your entire home, paying special attention to areas where your dog spends time. This includes their bed, favorite play areas, and other areas. Use the crevice tool to get into tight spaces and use the brush attachment to remove any bed bugs or eggs clinging to fabric surfaces. When you're done vacuuming, dispose of the vacuum bag or contents in a sealed bag outside of your home. This will prevent any captured bed bugs or eggs from escaping back into your home. Ensure that you use a sealed bag to prevent the contents from spilling out. This is crucial to avoid contaminating other areas of your home. Use bed bug sprays or powders. First, choose a product designed for use on pet bedding and surrounding areas. Such products will be safe for your furry friend. If you are unsure whether a product is safe, be sure to check with your veterinarian before using it. Some common products you may find include sprays, powders, and foggers. Be sure to read the instructions thoroughly and follow them closely. This will ensure that you are using the product correctly. Avoiding a reinfestation. No matter how well you do in getting rid of bed bugs on your dog, it would be an exercise in futility if you don't get rid of them everywhere your dog stays or goes. This includes your car, your couch, your bed, everything about you that it comes into contact with. So how do you get rid of bed bugs and all those places and items? Check out our playlist on how to get rid of bed bugs for specific videos for specific items and situations. Call a professional. Consider hiring a professional pest exterminator if you're unable to get rid of the bed bugs on your own. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.